Hey guys, welcome back. Let me brighten this up a second. All right, so I'm gonna be doing part two right now, uh, finishing up this Harley Quinn sketch cover, and it was signed by Christina Ricci, and I did my best to get Christina Ricci's likeness on here. Um, let me give you a close up if I can. Kind of see what I did so far. I did grays, a lot of the reds. Um, and the golds. There's her hair. I like good stuff. The face is about 99% done. But uh, we'll see. I like to do some more on her eyes. Um, focus that. Alright, so here we go. Um, I'm going to finish this up. A little recap. I want to mention that um, I do, I like to work from uh, light to dark. Um, except in some instances, like with the gold stuff, I did go from dark to light, but typically I like to, um, go from light to dark and just build it up. Um, if you go too dark at first and you don't like it, you can't go back. But if you start light, you can always work it up and then kind of go from there. Um, I did mention I'm trying to get a little more, um, not being so afraid to kind of drop in. Uh, a lot of the base color at first, like this red, I probably did, you know, too many highlights there. Um, and so I'm going to go back in on the glove and I'm going to add some more red. Some more red in there. Because when it comes time to go in and, and do some of the highlights, um, I feel like I usually leave a little too much white. So I'm trying to get away from that and just being more free to uh, drop in more base color and yeah all right so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this glove um, some good highlight colors I mentioned last time as well for red can be a peach or even orange so let me show you both of those let me do orange and here is just orange orange from Prismacolor. Alright, see that good focused. Looks good. Alright. And it's been so long since I've actually videoed myself working that I had the camera kinda more of a uh, vertical format rather than a landscape, so I apologize for that. Um and that's why I'm doing it this way this time. So there's the orange. Uh, here's the peach up here that I did last time. Let's see if I can focus that. Get my lighting over here. So this is a peach highlight, and then there's an orange. You can kind of see the difference. The orange pops more. The peach is nice and light. Um, but you could always do both. So that's what I'm going to do. So I did that. Now I'm going to go in and drop some peach on there, leave a little bit of white. Okay, so that's that, and then on the glove. And now the peach. All right, that's that. A new color I picked up is a teal blue, and I'm gonna do that on the cuff of this glove over here. Alright. 
And then I might go in with, let's see here. Here's my cloud blue. Cloud blue is a little bit lighter than the, uh, where's my favorite blue? Than the blue slate, which I like to use a lot. So the cloud blue is a little bit lighter than that. So that's what I'm using now. Um, her shirt, I'm going to leave um, mostly gray. And I'm going to do a little pencil technique over it to kind of give it that, um, that look. Uh, as well, so I'll do that a little bit. Let me see here. Let me add some more gray on her shirt. Cool gray 20. I think the other gray I did was 30%, so this is 20%. I'm going to drop this over top of that. I think it was 30%. Let's see how this looks. And remember, when you're when you're layering the markers, if you're overlapping colors, the color that's underneath is probably going to get darker. So you could use that to uh, create those layers and create depth in your in your piece. Hmm. Still not sure if the color I first used was 20 or 30 percent. From the looks of it, it's about the same. But I'm going to give it a minute. Hmm. Do the legs as well. go in and drop some shadow underneath the ripped shirt. Real quick, I want to drop some beach color on this, the gun handle. Give it kind of like a pearl kind of look if I can. And then get a warm gray and drop that on there as well for a shadow from her coming off her chest there. And that should be all I need to do on that. And then leave that there for the reflected light underneath. And that should work. Uh, maybe throw some deco peach on there too. Let's see. Some deco peach. Brightened up a little bit. That works. A little bit underneath. Boom. 
Okay. All right, now I'm gonna go on to the skin color on her arms and legs and in there in the rip areas. Um, her skin tone is still kind of pale even on her, her arms and legs. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna start real light and just kind of build that up. And let me see what color I wanna use first. Uh, I think I wanna do Dusty Rose. It's like a grayish pink. It's not too light or too dark. And then maybe try the deco pink as well. Start there and see how it goes. And then I'm going to keep in mind where I want um, a highlight to go. It should probably be on the top of her leg. And the bottom leg, since it's in shadow, I'll just do this color over the whole thing. Leave a little white for the reflected light again. Um, a little bit on top. And then, I want to get the curve of the leg right. Could work. Doesn't really follow the curve of the up the top part of her leg though. So let me try that again. That's better. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same on her arm. I'm imagining this would be the shadowed area. Okay, and then over here. Now the lighter color, this might be too light, but we'll give it a try and see how it goes. That's that. Um, and if I want, let me see here. Uh, I can do peach if I want this to pop out more on the up there. Peach there. Now I want a little more shadow on this arm. Uh, sometimes the darker you go, it can make the lights pop more. So the dark needs to contrast the light enough to really make it pop. And this isn't quite popping yet. So let me go, I'm gonna do, I'll do 30% gray. And watch what happens. All right. 
right. Okay. There we go. Now I'll leave that there, let that sit, and see how I like it. And figure out if I want to go back in or not, and make it darker. And two, once once the marker dries, it'll have a little bit different look than when it's first uh, put down. It'll dry. Um, got this little area in here where skin might be popping through, so let me throw some color in there. Do dusty rose. So it's in shadow. Alright. Okay, here I'm going to do um, dark to light. I'm going to do the dusty rose for the shadow of the cloth. Alright, and then fill in the lighter pink. And that's a, I'm using deco pink for the other area. Leave a little white for highlight. Again, our skin should be pretty pale. Um, uh, but, you know, this will work. Depends on what reference shot you're looking at. Sometimes it's more pale, sometimes it's more skin tone, but we can work with that. All right. All right, now I'm gonna do this belt here and add some more rendering on the these things, whatever they are. I honestly didn't know what was in the other side of this pouch. I know she's got a gun over here and then something over here, but we're just gonna make it look cool. Sometimes you gotta fake it. All right. And then light gray. I use twenty percent. Finish that off. Leave a highlight on there. Whatever it is. And there we go. Now, I'm gonna look at a reference real quick. See if these um, are gold or silver. Um, looks like they're silver. So, do my gray again. Leaving highlight area. And then my blue slate. And that's going to be the color of the highlights of this, you know, leather, black leather, whatever uh, area. Alright, if I'm going to go darker than that, I can do indigo blue. It's a nice dark blue. And if I color over the black, it's going to make it even deeper. So I can do that there. Um, kind of keep in mind where the shadows are going to be.
and there's a cool gray um, cool gray 7 touch marker and I can go on there and add some dark areas on these studs Still not sure how dark I got on that shirt, um, but I do want to add some more shadow in here under her arm. So um, hmm, what to use? Here is here's my cool gray 30%. I do have a gray 50%. You know what? I think I'll do that. Let's see here. Um, let's try 30% real quick. So that does look a little darker than the other gray I had down, so... Okay. Just building up the form. Okay. I'm happy with that. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the pencil. Uh, this is an HB pencil. Um, and what I'm going to do to get more of a t-shirt kind of feel um, is add some pencil in here. And it kind of gives it that gritty texture, t-shirt texture that she has on her shirt. So if I want it over the whole thing, I'll just go light over the entire thing. And then I can go in in darker areas and darken it up. But this, going over it lightly, will give it that um, texture over the entire shirt. And then I can always erase too if I want some highlights. This is using mixed media. And you gotta, you know, use whatever you feel comfortable with. And, you know, a lot of different things will give you different, um, you know, textures and, um, and things. Like you, you know, it's pretty hard to get this kind of texture with a marker. So just go in there, throw that on there with a the pencil, and you're good to go. Or just leave it out. It's up to you. And it, it even shows up over the darker areas too, so. Rub that in. And then here I can get a little darker if I want.
Now if I if I were to go in and blend it with my finger, it's gonna take away the grittiness that I'm going for, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, but I will erase a little bit. That's that. All right, I need to add some red up here on our hair tie. Forgot about that. Uh, what's this? Deco Peach. Some of that there. I'm going to get my 10% uh, gray and add some color on her eyes. Some gray on her eyes, anyway. Just a little bit, do some shadow on the top, and then where the eye curves, just show that it's round. Do that on that side too. That's that. I could do a little bit of shadow on her teeth if I wanted, below her lip. Could add some darker blue under her eye, too. Uh, where'd that go? Here it is. So right now I'm just kind of going back in and touching up stuff, uh, getting darker if I need to. Nothing too crazy. And just finishing it off, but pretty much there. Okay, blend this a little bit. Cool. Well, thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, before I f finish, I wanted to plug some of my my friends. Please subscribe to my channel if you like cool art and watching it get made. Um, my friend uh, Clay Polly and his friend James Hussey have an awesome channel called Sketch Cover Comic Cast, which I actually recently just did an interview with. So please go over to their channel and check that out. They do um, reviews of comic books, and they did the Infinity Gauntlet, the Court of Owls with Batman. Um, and once in a while they'll do interviews with artists. Uh, you'll find mine on there. They also interviewed Mike Miller recently. And I'll plug his YouTube channel as well. Just go to uh, search Mike S. Miller and his should be on there. Um, and he's an artist uh, also starting Blacklist Comics and he's going to be doing a Indiegogo this month, I believe. So keep your eye out for that if you're interested in supporting artists who do awesome work and uh, yeah there's a cool movement going on right now a lot of people are doing Indiegogo's and raising money for their independent books and stuff um, so that is really cool and I'm excited to see where that goes so support us subscribe to our channels and uh, yeah we appreciate your support real quick let me Add this on here. 
Add some more dark color to here. Um, and also go over to my Facebook page. I will post the a good quality picture of this um, on there. And also I'm on Instagram. And you can find me online at ericninotowskiart.com. The link should be in my bio. Um, but yeah. I think I'm there. I might do something with the background. I'm not sure yet. Um, but check out the final picture for that if you're interested. And I do have to sign it, which I will do right now. You can watch me do that. Do 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 do. I do my initials E N D. And that's how you know it's me. I'm going to do it over here. There we go. And that's all, folks. Thanks for tuning in. And here's a little close-up one last time. Christina Ricci as Harley Quinn. Do 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 do. All right. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Till next time. Peace.